So are you ready? Today you're going to receive the kick that snaps you out of the dream state you most likely have been living in your whole life. I'm here to tell you that you can be the architect of your own dream world. This is Trendsetter of the Mind, and that's Argos. Today we're going to be talking about the film Inception. Dreams, in the movie, equate to the subconscious in our real lives. Just as dreams are a reflection of thoughts and actions, so too is the subconscious a mixture of habits and ideas that someone has been exposed to. Whereas being awake and conscious requires one to think about choices to be made in real time, both dreams and the subconscious are more passive. Since we have been brought up in a world where we need to work for currency, borders must be defended, or we anticipate the release of the weekend or retirement, we accept this as life, just as in the middle of a dream, everything seems casual because we have become so deeply entranced. Similar to how Leonardo DiCaprio's character has a team to achieve an end goal, so do elite think tanks brainstorm the direction they would like the real world to head in. Analogous to how if the dream does not have the, does not have the precise details and is created too fast or too slow, resulting in collapse, in our lives as well do the elites proceed very delicately with their plans for a sought-after outcome in a roundabout way or else they risk alerting the masses. In accordance with our reality, it is the conspiracy theorists, the propaganda doubters, the official, official story skeptics uh, that begin to unravel the false dream world. The cohesiveness of the dream and its integration into the subconscious of a population altogether depends on two interdependent factors. How well the dream civilization was built and how tightly the dreamers citizens are willing to hold on to it. In the film, when it appears as though the architects can do the impossible, even folding the city in on itself to take the space of the sky, that corresponds to the ruling class being able to get away with anything. So long as the subconscious of the population is trapped by implanted laws, morals, religious doctrines, ethical beliefs, and so forth. However, once you know that society has been infiltrated and cultures have been engineered by the masterminds to better control the populace, the individual is left to decide between two options. The first, the dream explodes. Just as what happens with the girl by the cafe, because she knows that everything around her is not the truth, but a fantasy or even a nightmare. In real life, this correlates to when someone wakes up and sees that the news, money, government, education is all manipulated. Therefore, they escape back into reality. The second, as we notice with Tom Hardy's character, you mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. This can go both ways. An awake person who knows man-made civilization is fake and only held together by corruption can start snapping other people out of their limited subconscious and make them limitless as Neo becomes in the Matrix. At that point, nothing can hold the individual back and he or she can even fight the system from the inside. Unfortunately for us though, all that the elites do is dream big and they have created so many sheep that people will cling all the harder to the flawed system that enslaves them. That is to say, at this point, our rulers feel like they can get away with anything. As is evident with our current events, the more someone latches on to this purposefully tainted establishment, the more they will be abused by it, whether they want to acknowledge it or just keep fooling themselves. You see, our controllers have the power to determine how history will play out because so many people are dreaming. Elites manage the general subconscious of the masses through commercials, 
uh, movies like we're talking about right now, um, what is to be considered stylish, uh, what is good or bad, ethics, how to measure success, usually by your income amount, uh, what meaning, meaningless things we are to be entertained by, uh, TikTok, Facebook, basically everything. <clears throat> Although they are the ones that input the calculations into the minds of the dreamers, our collective subconscious, they must abide by certain rules or else the flock, us, will grow restless. And when I say us, I mean those who are still asleep. Like in the movie, when the self-defense mechanism kicks in, we are not totally helpless. So they are aware they must tread carefully, lest they have another French Revolution type deal on their hands. And if you're unfamiliar with that part of history, um, the peasants revolted and they went to the palace of the king and queen, the French king and queen, and uh, basically overthrew them. This was also coinciding with the time of the American Revolution when there is a mass enlightenment that was beginning to spread and people uh, saw the value of independence and they didn't think royalty even needed to exist anymore. And so during the French Revolution, um, you had the popularity of the guillotine and figures like uh, Robespierre and Danton and um, so what they did was they beheaded their king and later their queen Marie Antoinette and um, why the evolution of the deep state or the shadow government has become so utilized now is because when you can have somebody to be the face of your government, uh, like a president or a prime minister, then all the anger or all the cheers and happiness of the public will be focused only on them. But the elites will, since they own all the mainstream media, will stay out. They will always stay out of the news. You will rarely, if ever, hear their name because they know, like how I just said about the French Revolution, um, if you... If everybody, if all the peasantry knows uh, where the king and queen lives, they can just point to the castle on the hill and be like, okay, let's go rebel. Let's get rid of them. We don't need a king and queen anymore. But if you never know who the real rulers are, then they can just stay in power pretty much forever. Um, so what good uh, rulers do, our controllers, is they learn from the mistakes of past civilizations um, such as if you've ever read the book Machiavelli, uh, The Prince, where um, he teaches rulers how to avoid um, certain situations and how to capitalize on others. Um, so that way you make your um, the faces that the public sees, presidents, prime ministers, governors, you make those people just your order followers, but people will think that um, they're the leaders of the free world, that um, they hold all the power. And really, it's those who sit behind the throne and that control everything. So in regards to the self-defense mechanism, uh, they must slowly take away our freedoms, which they give us, within reason, uh, by getting us to agree that it is right for them to do so, usually for our safety and protection. Once the idea has a firm foundation, inception, they can step back a little and watch us hold each other accountable, just as the idea in the movie in, involved breaking apart a company. Our controllers will let us police each other with, where is your mask? Don't you care about what government, the news, tells you to be afraid of? Or how come you're not holding up your sign and marching when the state wants you to and in the desired fashion? Don't Black Lives Matter to you? If you wake up, though, and forfeit your deceived subconscious, the dream crashes and their empire collapses in on itself. It's that easy. Then you and I can build our own dreams instead of living in someone else's. <clears throat>